Previously on Life of Hers. Well, I guess I'll be going then. Say hello to your mum for me. Sure, we'll do. I'm not complaining, but you guys know how I feel about birthdays and now you're all here trying to make a fuss. Let's ignore her, okay? Now that I'm here, let's get to work. Yes. Okay? Exactly. What are we then? Do you love me? Of course I do. I, I love you too, so why don't you just be honest with us? Oh, my phone's ringing. No, leave your phone alone. We're talking. I just, I'll just We're check talking right now, so leave your phone alone. Just one second. No, it's my dad. Leave it alone. We're not, it's my dad. No, I have to we're not get doing it. that. Leave your phone, listen. Hello? Bonjour, Papa. Oui, ça va, OK? We as, as, as women, we as mothers and aunties and sisters, and hell, even the men too, we have a, a duty and a task to ensure that we're offering these young people alternative spaces for inspiration, alternative places to get representation. So that calls on us to be active. It means picking up yourself, taking your child to the theater, or to the museum, or to the park, or to your girl's house just to chill and talk. It means buying them books instead of them shoes. It means joining the school and supporting It's so good to have you working close by now. How long is your position? Uh, four weeks. I have to say, I'm going to be so sad to go. I've really enjoyed general surgery. I'm even considering it as a speciality. I'm sorry, what? I know. Oh, I love it. I just, how fast paced it can be, especially in the city with all the different cases, you know? Yeah, but surgery, what's going to happen with your family? Valentine, I don't have a family. And seriously, not everything has to be about having one. Like, this is the age that we're at. Okay, we need to be making deliberate steps in our career. Why do you think that I took the permanent position? I mean, contractor's money is good, but I need that maternity pay. Yeah, but that's you. I mean, what if I don't even want to have my own family? I've got a big enough family as it is with all my siblings and cousins. Ugh. What do you mean, what if you don't want to have a family? Never mind. I forgot it's actually useless speaking to you about this stuff. Well, speaking of settling down and relationships we and weren't stuff. weren't speaking about that, though. What's going on with you and Jota? Nothing. Nothing. With you two, nothing is always something. Valentine is literally nothing. I mean, he's not answering my calls, he is not <laughs> replying to my text messages, he's put me on the most limited viewing on his Facebook, and I think he's even blocked me on Twitter and Instagram. Well, what did you do to him? He came at me with that whole, what are we question again, and I just keep telling him I'm not ready. Hodan. Oh, oh, what? I felt ambushed. Yeah, but... Joseph's a great guy. He's smart. He's handsome. He's got a good. No, he's got a great job. He's supportive. He's sociable. Yeah, great in bed. Yeah. Oh, oh please. You know what I'm talking about. You can fool your little sisters at church. Don't be acting like you and Loke at home, reading up rosaries and having Bible studies in bed. Yeah, wrong denomination. And if Joseph's so great, then what's the problem? I don't know. The last couple of years, I've just been feeling like. There is no guy that I really, really like, you know? I can't remember the last time I just had a crush or butterflies or, or anything. You know, it's like they're cool enough dudes as friends, but... You know, with benefits, evidently. Well, yes, but there's just always something missing and it is the same with Joseph. Yeah, but that's where you're going wrong. That whole sparks flying, that's all Hollywood and Disney and Oprah. Okay, you make a decision to love someone. Okay, and it's not this whole uncontrollable feeling. Maybe. Definitely. Think Ryan Gosling, not Robert Patterson. The way I see it, Joseph has made a decision to love you despite you stalling for a year. <sighs> Hold on. Call him. Okay. Try your relationship. If it doesn't work, then fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess you're right. Yes, I'm always sure, right. Sure. How long have you got till you have to get back? Mm, about 20 minutes, you? I'm supposed to be there five minutes ago. So slow. I know, you even held me back today. You used to have me feeling like my heart was about to explode. 
Why haven't you been running recently? You knew I was feeling a little unwell for a while, so I had to let exercise take a back seat. That is true, sorry. And you're smoking. I know, I know. When I get through the Gambia, I'll think about quitting. Think about it? Yeah, think about it. Anyway, I'm back on the running now, so it won't be long before I have you crying real tears from the speeds I'll put you through. Yeah, yeah. I am... Um... I've been thinking about this birthday dinner party thing. Oh yeah, I finally settled on a menu. I just know you're going to love. Anyway, I'll email it to you when you get back home. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about cancelling it. What? No, 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 no. I've put too much work into this. Don't even think about cancelling, my dear. But Cass, what is there to celebrate? By 25, I thought I would be married with my own art curation business. <sighs> flying around the world giving talks about how I made my first million, going back to Nigeria twice a year to do charity work. But look at me. I haven't left the UK, no wait, London in the past five years. I'm here looking after my father's house and my sister while he's living his dream in Nigeria. I'm not making enough money to pay the bills through my writing and I don't have enough time to finish my paintings because I'm always writing. Look, I hear you, but you don't even understand. You have so much going for you. You have a sister that loves you and you love. You have a home. You guys never go hungry. And even though money's tight, somehow the bills get paid. Even though making money through writing and painting is hard, you're doing it. You are an incredible writer and artist. You knew when you took this road, it wasn't going to be easy. I know. I know, and my father warned me. But it will pay off in the end. At least you know what you want to do and you have an agency. I still don't know what I want to do or what my talents are and I am scared too much to even explore. You're making your own money and building your own career. Every day I'm grateful that my dad hasn't remembered about the monthly standing order that he has that he puts into my account. I still can't believe he hasn't remembered that. Look, remember what you told me the other day? Love what you have right now. You have done so much for your age. Don't even think about where you're supposed to be by now. What will Sister Tracy Ellis Ross say? I am learning every day to allow the space between where I am and where I want to be to inspire me and not to terrify me. Exactly. That's a message for both of us, really. Remember when you wanted to be a lawyer for ages? That is true. Are we still celebrating life next Friday? Yes. Good. Raise you to the top. I'm going to be late home tonight. I've got a church meeting. When are you not late home because of church? Don't be like that, Luik. <laughs> or what? Is your God going to come down and strap me or something? Be serious, Luik. If you've got something to say, then just say it. Don't give me all this passive-aggressive stuff, please. OK. I'm wondering how long this whole religious phase is going to last for. Religious phase? Yes. I was cool for you going to church on Sundays, even though you leave at 9am and come back at 3pm. But it's not just Sundays. It's Wednesday evenings, Thursday evenings, and sometimes Saturday mornings. I mean, like, come on. First of all, you're cool with me going to church on Sundays. Do you know what? I'm not even in the right frame of mind to be discussing this with you right now. Of course you wouldn't be. Keep on avoiding discussions we need to be having. You told me to speak my mind, so I am. I'm speaking my mind. I mean, what guy would be cool that he really gets to spend time with his woman because she's always at church? His woman? OK, clearly you've gone mad. Don't walk out on me. No, me touche pas le week. I really do appreciate you meeting me here, Joseph. No problem. Hey, look, I don't have much time on my break, so I'm just going to get to the point. I miss you. And, okay, look, 
I know that I have been difficult these past few weeks. Months? Hold on. Yes, but I want you to know that I really do care about you, Joe. And these past few days of you ignoring me have been absolute torture. Torture? Torture because you want me in your life? Or torture because you feel guilty? Well, torture because I want you in my life, of course. Look, Hodan, I really haven't got time for your games, okay? You know how I feel about you, so if you want me... Like, if you want us to make this work, then just tell me. Joseph, it's not that simple. Yes, it really is that simple. Look, Kaima invited me to a birthday dinner. Okay, you have until then to let me know exactly what it is you want. And hold on, just so you know, if we can't be together, I really can't be your friend. I'd kind of go for the idea that what we're actually having and seeing online are robust, frank discussions, right? So it doesn't matter if you're in a community together, disagreement is something that just comes naturally and that's irrespective of what kind of justice is social. Kaima, thank you for letting me stay with you. That's cool, babe. You know you can stay for as long as you like. I still can't believe he grabbed you like that. I know, right? Like I'm a bloody animal. I know. <laughs> I just can't believe it, though. It's not like Luik, you know? Anyway, I still think you should try and speak to him before you decide anything major. No, he has to move out. I love him, but us living together is a direct conflict with what I believe in. It's the elephant in the room. Okay, God has to come first. Well, okay. You do what you have to do. You know I've got your back either way. Thanks, sis. Um... V, what is all of this? What do you mean? I mean, where are your actual clothes? Your PJs, headscarf, toothbrush? <laughs> uh, babe, when did you think you'd need this? I'm just awful at packing. Louis does all our packing when we go away. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll get you some pyjamas, okay? Okay, thanks, Kay. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do without him? Next on Life of Hers. We are worried about you. About what? Me and your mother have spoken in depth about this. Your car is so sexy. Oh my god. Thank you. Your life just seems so perfect. Believe me, I'm far from perfect. We all have our struggles, Michelle. I don't know about that. How are you, Vegan? Useless. Hopeless. 